Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Mark. And this is Complicated Things. Very. So right now, we are parked up on the side of a road somewhere out in the country in California. And you know what's interesting? James Dean wrapped his Porsche around a tree about two miles that way. Which is kind of interesting, except for the fact we're out here shooting very fast cars, so I don't know. So we've been up since about 5 a.m. shooting those fast cars, and now we're on a break for just a little bit, and we want to talk to you. Yeah, we thought you'd use this time to talk about one really important element of our production, and that's data management. Having a redundant data management plan before you start shooting is crucial. For this project, we're shooting 6K and are anticipating shooting about 40 terabytes of footage over the course of a week. So before we even started this project, we needed to know how we were going to deal with all that data. We've been doing this Car of the Year shoot for a few years, but we've changed up our data management system this time around. Last year we shot 4K footage with a Leica Prototype SL2 and we backed up all the footage to a whole bunch of 2 terabyte hard drives. That system worked, but it had some drawbacks. Yeah, primarily Mike didn't get to sleep at all last year. <laughs> so the biggest drawback was it took a long time. So I'd get back to my hotel room at night and start transferring footage from the cards to the hard drives one by one and it could take a couple of hours for one transfer. I set an alarm clock to wake myself up to switch drives and ended up getting basically no sleep. No sleep to the point that one day you thought you lost all of our data. Some of the data, Alex, some of the data. Yeah, I got a little, I got a little confused one night and I couldn't remember if I'd backed up before I reformatted. So we spent a whole day basically panicking if I'd lost uh, a day's work, but it was just a file. We yeah, moved and, on. but it did have a pretty like significant effect on our morale. It was awful. Yeah, it was awful. But so anyway, this year we knew we wanted to try a new data management system, but what show what we wanted to do? We got in touch with our good friends over at GTEC to ask for help and advice. They ended up not only giving us some excellent advice, but they also set us up with this hard drive system for everything. So without further ado, here's what we're using. We are shooting on Blackmagic pocket cameras and 6K RAW. We're recording all of our footage onto a mix of two terabyte SSDs and five 12 gigabyte CFast cards. We've got a laptop with Thunderbolt ports to use as our data shuttling device. Then we've got two Shuttle XL TB3 RAID drives from GTEC. These have up to 42 terabytes of usable space and we have them set up in RAID 5. They are monsters. They're also very versatile. You can transport them in a Pelican case and use them during production, like we're doing here, but you can also edit from them. So they're sort of the perfect package for anyone doing video. They're fast, scalable, flexible, and can accommodate up to 144 terabytes of your most precious data. We're using eight bay drives, but there's also a four bay version. So our basic workflow is pretty simple. This is a week long shoot and we're shooting mornings and evenings. Mark and I go out and shoot the supercars for periods of about 20 to 30 minutes at a time. And our original plan was then to come back to the production vehicle and dump all the cards. But because these raids are actually moving data so fast, we found that we can just pile up data for a bit and then dump it all at once when we hit these little breaks. It's pretty nuts to move one or two terabytes of data in about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's fabulous. I mean, because last year, literally, I, to do the two terabyte card was maybe two hours or yeah. something like that. And then, and then you had to double it again. Then I had to again. double again to, right. to get redundancy, yeah. Then in the evening, we take the raid back to our hotel room and start backing up to our second raid. We use software called Chronosync to mirror the drive. What Chronosync does is it looks through both raids and only copy data that exists in one place, but not the other. That makes our job a lot easier because we can keep all of our footage on both of our RAID drives that each night automatically copy just the new footage we shot that day. Also, dragging and dropping is not an option. If you want to reliably make sure what you have on one drive is the same as what you have on the other, Chronosync does a checksum 
and make sure all the data in each drive is exactly the same. Super, super important, because you drag and drop, you could have a corrupted file and it doesn't. You will never see it. Chronosync. What's great about this system is that it's doubly redundant. With one of these raids, we can lose one hard drive without losing any data. With two of these raids, we can lose one drive in each raid without losing any data, which becomes extremely important when you're shipping and traveling and maybe checking on an airplane. This also simplifies our workflow a lot. If we wanted to do this on two terabyte SSDs like we did last year, we'd probably need something like 45 drives for all our footage. And we'd end up spending hours and hours and hours plugging in drives to back up footage, unplugging them and plugging them in the next drive. It's just a much more labor intensive process. Here we've just got two devices we need to worry about. They both have redundancy and so our footage is safe. But we're not saying you need to go out and get these exact drives. The important thing is to have a data management plan before you start shooting. Here are some simple questions you might want to ask yourself before you plan your workflow. Who am I? <laughs> That's not one of them. First, what's your budget? Mark and I can spend seven to $10,000 on data management, but we can't spend, say, 100K, or even close. So you need to think about what's possible in your price range. Absolutely. Secondly, what kind of media are you shooting? How much are you going to create per shoot per day? How much media will you create over the course of the shoot? We're shooting Blackmagic 6K RAW. We're expecting to shoot about five terabytes a day and maybe 40 terabytes over the course of the week. So we need drives that can handle that amount of footage safely with redundancy. So the next thing to consider is how often you have to offload media. Depending on how much you're shooting, it might be every 20 or 30 minutes. For us, it's every few SSDs we fill up. Um, if you're shooting just like stills for a wedding or something, you can probably just do one big dump at the end of the day. Of course, there's a school of thought that smaller memory cards are always better, because you just fill up a card, you switch it, uh, which will prevent you from having a horrible situation where one card breaks, you lose your entire day shot. Those are sort of our big questions, but here are a few more things to think about as well. Do you need additional readers? Does the drive speed that you're ingesting match the speed of the media you're offloading from? Who is responsible for maintaining master backups? Because that becomes a huge cost over time. What software are we using for our checksums? What are we using to copy data? And finally, are there any additional environmental factors we should consider? Like is it freezing cold, which slows you down, or boiling hot, which can also be a problem? Yeah, there's tons to think about, we know, but coming up with a good data management plan will save you a lot of time and stress in the long run. And I know about stress, because I have hypotension. Everybody, thank you for watching. Thanks to Michael and Martin at GTEC for, help, for helping us sort this out. And we will see you next time back in New York City! Bye-bye!